Hello everyone, and welcome to Crafted Creations. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to dye using coffee. I've got a test strip here, some polyester fabric, um, but for a future video, I'm also going to make a custom Tuscan Raider uh, into one of the sand people from the uh, Book of Boba Fett. Uh, I'm going to use the coffee here to dye a darker shade of brown. Uh, use a, a dark roast. Hopefully I'm going to get a really nice dark chocolatey brown uh, color um, out of this fabric here. Uh, now this polyester strip is, uh, I believe, the same material that they use for the Star Wars Black Series Tuscan Raider. Um, just a different shade. That's why I chose this for a test strip, because I'm going to go ahead and hopefully try to sew some, um, some robes using this color fabric. Uh, but first things first, let's go ahead and open him up. Voila. All right, so now what we're going to do is soak the cloth in water. And you want to make sure that it soaks in water for probably 30 minutes or so, uh, maybe even closer to an hour, depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, but you want to let the water soak in just to make sure all of the fabric absorbs a decent amount of water. So that's going to make the color of the coffee uh, retain quite a bit better. So we're going to let this soak here for a bit. Now while the cloth is soaking, we're going to go ahead and prepare our grounds. And what I did for this is I took a couple strips of um, a dollar store cloth cleaning wipe. Um, just cutting them in small little strips. I'm going to go ahead and make a makeshift coffee filter. Let's go ahead and place some grounds here in the middle. That should be enough for the amount of water we're going to use to dye the small amount of fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up. And I'm going to use a hair tie just because I'm not sure how a rubber band would react with the amount of heat that we're going to do this. Um, so just in case, I don't want to melt the rubber band in case that ends up floating to the bottom of the hot part of the pot that we're going to use. So I'm going to use a hair tie just so I know I don't have to worry about anything melting in there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and soak this in a pot of boiling water. After it starts to come to a boil, we're going to turn that to a low temperature and then let it simmer. Uh, let it steep and draw the uh, color out of the coffee into the water. So now that we've got the color that we want, we're going to go ahead and take our cloth. And we're going to go ahead and just dip that right in. And then we're going to go ahead and put this back on the low heat and we're going to let it sit in there for about an hour total. This is after about 45 minutes of simmering in the pot. There is our little makeshift coffee bag there. And here are our two pieces of cloth. I go ahead and place that in here to dry. And then here is the Tuscan cloth there. Go ahead and place that in there to dry as well. Definitely a huge difference. Uh, it will lighten up a little bit once it dries, but you can see how, uh, how well it held the coffee there. In order to make it set, you can either hit it with an iron uh, toss it in the dryer. Just make sure after you after you remove it from the dryer, don't have anything else in there while you do it, and then make sure to wipe out the inside uh, once you're done to make sure there's no coffee grounds or any residue in there that would stain your clothes. Otherwise, you could take a hair dryer to it. Uh, just be careful not to get 
too close otherwise that could be a very dangerous fire hazard uh, so if you're going to do that just make sure to keep a distance and just hit it with light heat um, until that dries out there All right, so I went ahead and let them dry. These are the original cloths as seen before the dye. This is the scrap that I had from before after coloring it with the coffee. You can see that's a bit darker there, much more brownish, darker tone. This is the sand person cloak. So mine, the ends started to fray a little bit there because I did choose to put mine in a light uh, heat tumble dry. We can go ahead and clean those up. Um, I kind of actually like the way that looks. That makes him look like he's uh, seen a little bit more action. And that color definitely makes him stand out from the other Tuscan readers. So if you want to make a nice slight variation uh, or custom without having to do a ton of work, you can go ahead and use the coffee dye method and you'll add another great piece to your collection. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video and you want to check out more customs in the future, don't forget to like and subscribe. And leave a comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. I hope you all enjoy and as always, stay crafty.